Hey everyone, we're here at E3, the biggest annual gaming event in the world. I cannot wait to take you inside, interview the folks behind our favorite franchises, scoop up all the swag, and of course, play all the new games. Come on. Listen. All right, we're here at Nintendo, just waiting in line to check out this summer's big game. This is gonna be so sick. Who here is excited? <laughs> yeah. Okay, folks, still in line, haven't moved a lot, and it's getting warm, but who cares? It's E3. <laughs> Who's excited? <laughs> All right, finally at the front of the line, and it turns out that this was a line to get a ticket to come back at 3.30 to wait in another line to try out the game. But that's fine. It's E3. Who's excited? Woohoo! All right, let's go check out some other booths before we come back. We're here at Epic Games talking to one of my favorite game designers. Let's talk Fortnite. Fortnite has taken over the world. Where do you go from here? How do you keep that game alive? Oh, well, you know, we took everything we loved about the game uh -huh. and put new skins over it. Wait, what? It's a complete HD remaster. But, but... You know, change around the textures of the backgrounds, put on some different outfits, that kind of stuff. Is there anything else that you, um did? Oh, of course. This is our baby. We wanted to go all out for this one. Amazing. Like what? Well, you know how we changed up the theme for the last season? We are completely changing the game for this one. Eh, any hints about what those will be? Um, mostly new skins. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Don't you want to see the new dance we're putting in the game? It's called the Floss 2.0. No, that's okay. Improved hip physics, better lighting. God, you could take a selfie with it. Little disappointing, but at least I got this shirt. I cannot believe this. I'm talking to one of the lead designers behind Halo. Halo! I just have to ask, how do you keep every game in the series so consistent, yet so fresh? Oh, well, we have a dedicated team. Yes. That takes the old game. Uh huh. And reskin the entire experience. You know, like change the textures of the backgrounds, put on some different outfits. Yeah, but I'm I'm sure you also thought about the, the gaming experience and- Oh, obviously. This is our child. We raised this game together. We have a whole season pass that's going to blow your mind. Yes. Can you give me a hint of what's coming down the pipeline? I really shouldn't, but it's skins. Like in this version, the suit is green, but with the season pass, it'll be blue. Yeah, no, I got it. Thank you. But it's online. At the end of the day, how is it the exact same game if it's the exact same game, but online, right? Right? Now I gotta go. Thank you. Also a bit disappointing, but at least I got these awesome exclusive sunglasses. Do not put over eyes. Okay, well, that's great. It's literally 112 degrees in here, so I bought a water bottle for 17 bucks. Here at Indiecade, folks are reinventing what it means to even be a video game. I'm with one of these cutting edge designers who was just telling me how they're breaking every expectation we have ever had for the gaming experience. How did you even approach that insane of a task? I'm so glad you asked. Obviously, we're huge gamers ourselves, and we're obsessed with the proud history of immersive gaming experiences. Uh huh. So we took a classic platformer and put fresh, hand-drawn graphics on top of it. Uh huh. Same great vintage gaming experience. Uh huh. Plays exactly like it did back in 1988. Oh, no, wait. Literally the same nearly unplayable, absolutely unenjoyable quarter muncher, except that I I know where this is going. We straight up put new skins on them. You know, change the textures of the backgrounds, put on some different outfits, change the stubble to wacky stubble. Yep, yeah, got it. Thank you. Really thought that one was going to be a breakthrough. But at least I got this canvas bag to carry all my swag in, which would be great, except that the bag itself weighs 10 pounds already. And I got this hat that says, I got game, because those are words that I want on my head. Next year, you'll be able to turn the swords into noodles. All right, so I came back at 3.30, waited in line for another hour, and now I am backstage at the Nintendo booth, so it's time to play this summer's big hit before anyone else. This is what all of today has been leading up to. Get hyped, get ready, let's do this. Here's the controller. Why is it wet? Oh, hold on. Can I, uh, can I skip past this? You can, but then it will be over. You're telling me that I just waited in line all day for a cinematic. You waited in line all day? Heesh, you should have just watched on YouTube. We uploaded it before anyone even got here. If it's just a cinematic, then why did you make me hold this sticky Petri dish of a controller? 
Don't you want to hear about our DLCs? Well, folks, that's a tour of this year's E3. I hope you enjoyed it. What game got you hyped? Leave a comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe to enter a contest to win these E3 exclusive lanyards. Lanyards. They're black lanyards that say Namco on them. This box is 50 Namco lanyards. Who, even, If you needed a lanyard, wouldn't you already have? These are only relevant if you work for the company Namco. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm done. I'm gonna go home and play some video games.